So it looks like GameStop is getting to the point that I figured they would eventually get to, which is they have to start cutting costs beyond just their dividend payout that they were doing for uh, their investors. Now, remember, they cut their dividend payment, which they said would save them just over over $100 million per year that they were going to use to reinvest into the business. They have new management at the top, CEOs, CFOs, all of that. And it looks like they are doing some restructuring internally. I talked about how before they were going to take one real last shot at the whole thing. And this is, I, I think, part of that. It is pretty much a, a desperate move on their part. But if they're going to restructure, a lot of times when you start restructuring a company, unfortunately for employees, that means that there are layoffs. And it looks like GameStop did quite a number of layoffs, and it wasn't communicated as well to everyone, it seems, as if you go over to this thread at the GameStop Reddit, it looks like everyone is just asking everyone as to what's happening to district leaders and region leaders and all of that. Now, generally, if you work at a GameStop, you have like, they, 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 they call people leaders now. I think back like way back when, when I worked there, they didn't call them leaders. I'm trying to remember what they called them. Uh, but I don't think they, I think they just called them managers. Now they change it to like leaders and all this stuff. Uh, but it seems that district leads and regional leads are pretty much getting axed left and right. They're getting laid off. Uh, I. It seems that they are getting some sort of severance package offered to them or pretty much forced to them. Uh, but it does look like they are cutting pretty much the number of employees down to really cut costs. I, I think that's the part that uh, most people understand is you got to generally when you get to this point, you got to start cutting costs if you're not making enough money to sustain what you currently have. And GameStop clearly is not. Their stock price has just been dropping like crazy. I think it's down to like $4 now per share, which is not a lot. It's just been a complete whew, slope downwards so it's it's not looking good there but if you go to this thread i'll leave a link down below to the gamestop uh subreddit post i mean you can just read people asking each other trying to figure out what's going on is my job safe am i in trouble is is it like is, is my district lead going away is this regional lead going away and everyone's just asking everyone now i do remember when the district manager would come by they wouldn't they wouldn't do a ton. <laughs> they would usually come by. They would, uh, the store manager, I, w I wasn't like store manager or anything, but they'd always like criticize what the store manager is doing half the time. They would write down the good things that they were doing to then, I guess, go off and implement it at other stores. A lot of times they would show up, they would tell you stuff you were doing wrong, and then they would leave after like an hour. So they weren't even there that long, but they had to go around to a bunch of different stores. And the regional manager went around with those district managers. So you had... Uh, basically, a, a nice little hierarchy of uh, probably, I mean, let's be real, probably too many people uh, that were managing this stuff. But GameStop was making much more money back then, so they could do that. So what's interesting about this is after uh, there was a video getting passed around and people were asking me about it, seeing if I could find anything about it, uh, from Camelot331 on YouTube... Um, and he was the first one I saw that really described it, but then I came to the subreddit, it seems like people have been talking about it for a little while, and after that, I had a MVG actually sent over, Modern Vintage Gamer sent over a picture of what appears to be the email that was sent out. So when you would open a store at GameStop, you would open up, generally there would be some sort of information, they would have price changes, and then they would have you do, I'm trying to remember what it was called, but it was really annoying, where we'd have to go and you'd have to scan what was on the wall, and it would try to line up what's in the inventory, and it would tell you what cover art you had to make, and that was like the worst job ever. Specifically when you had to scan PS2 or original Xbox games. That was the worst. I remember back then it was really funny. Uh, some of them, some of us there didn't like doing it. So sometimes I remember the people would tell me that they would just scan the drawer because they didn't feel like going out there because we have these big bins. You didn't feel like taking the cases out. And they were still missing things from inventory. So that was that's good. Uh, but here's the email that uh, that I that I was sent that it seemed was sent out to different people at these uh, at these stores. It says, we have important news to share with you today concerning the redesign of our field leadership team as part of our continued GameStop reboot transformation initiative. I like how they have a name for the entirety of what boils down to laying people off. That's sure. Okay. 
a dedicated team, including the retail vice presidents, HR uh, loss prevention, their LP, and the U.S. store operations leadership team have been working diligently to realign our current field regions and districts in an effort to reduce our cost structure and build efficiencies into our field leadership organization so that we can reinvest in the business. Again, I'm not sure if they have the best vision in mind right now after what they described, but let's read on and we'll come back to that. This realignment results in an expanded size of GameStop's regions and districts, therefore reducing the number of field leaders required to run the organization. Again, restructuring so that you have less employees is generally what a desperate company will do towards the end when they're really struggling. They just need to eliminate employees that they would normally pay and have this employee do more work, basically cover more stores. That's what they're going to do here. I would hope that they would then pay them more. And there have been talks about them having pay raises for employees. So maybe that's their strategy there. Uh, but we'll see. The realignment also allows for a reset of the GameStop, I guess, leadership reporting structure, enabling these new multi-unit leaders, uh, leaders ownership in their span of control. More details to come on the GameStop leader process. And then below that, we have an entire map that seems to show, I guess, just the, the new divisions, regions, district stores. So you can then take a look if you're in that area, I guess, if, if you get this and everything, you can then see where you are and, and who your new regional leader is and district that lead that you're looking for, uh, who's basically going to come by and, and generally annoy you for about an hour before they, before they leave. Uh, and then it says, unfortunately, with these changes, there are more than 50 field leaders who have been impacted and will be leaving the GameStop team. This includes regional district, HR, L leaders these leaders will be missed and wish and we wish them success in their future endeavors these decisions are not easy but necessary to help us reduce costs to enable investment in revenue driving initiatives that will help grow the business once again so yes they are doing this so that they can get more money to do something now some of the stuff they, they've described is worrying because i don't think it's going to work in-store tournaments will not work to drive more revenue it's a bad idea i think but Apparently they want to attempt it, so there you go. Uh, I think the retro initiative could work, but I don't think you need to have a store specifically for retro games, right? I don't think that's the case. I think you can have it all mixed up. I think you can have new games all the way back to like Atari or NES if they want to stop at NES. I don't think you need to have just a retro and just new stuff. Eliminate like the junk that they have in there, like the backpacks and shirts. Not all the shirts, but... You get what I'm saying. They have all these like knickknacks and stuff everywhere. Turn that section into a retro gaming section. You might have something then. All right. I would have a reason to at least go buy. And then who knows? Maybe I get a new game or maybe I get a used game out of the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 or the Switch section. You never know what catches your eye. That's why they're trying to get people, I assume, into the stores. There's more work to be done to streamline the number of tasks for our field leaders and provide tools to support their daily activities. This work has already begun and will continue moving forward. Please watch the video below for more details about this announcement and visit the GSO Reboot Hub to view a map that captures the updated region and district alignments. I wonder how bad that video is. You know, like the corporate videos where it's like super cheesy. I do wonder how they try to dress this up or they're laying off from what I've seen and what i've gathered over 50 like regional district uh basically higher like management level stuff like like positions not like the person at the store who gets like 10 hours a week or something right uh these are full-time employees that are doing things even outside of just the day-to-day -day activities at a at the store level now those People generally don't cost the company that much anyway because they, when I was there, they were very, very stingy with hours. Okay. It was, it was a big deal if you weren't a key holder and you got 20 hours a week. That was a big deal. Like you were, you must have been a, a favorite there or something or your numbers were good. Like you were getting good, uh, you, you were getting good numbers with your pre-orders or your subs, which were the little cards in the magazine that most people didn't really read too much. Uh, but they got, you know, percentages off of their games. Now, there's another interesting part of this. Uh, they did at least lay people off, it seems, just before their big conference. Now, the conference I never went to. Uh, people seem to like it, but it really stopped from what I remember at like the store manager level. And again, when I was there, we didn't even, people weren't called leaders or anything. They're called managers. This is a long. I talked about how there were PS2 games in the store. This is a while ago, but. Uh, 
back then they would go to this. I think I think it was in Las Vegas back then. Now it, it appears that it's in Nashville, uh, but it was either in Las Vegas or LA. I thought that was Las Vegas, but they would go there. Everyone would come together. They would do all these conferences. You would have big companies like uh, Sony and Microsoft and stuff show up there, and it was to boost morale and, for the most part, have all of these managers have a good time and everything, and you'd get you know free games and systems, all this cool stuff. That now is not a good time to bring everyone together. They should have done these layoffs after this conference. Now, of course, you might be saying, well, they probably didn't want to have to then pay for 50 to 60 people that aren't going to be with the company afterwards, you know, to come home. But keep in mind, morale is has to be an all-time low at GameStop. And now you did this large wave of layoffs, right? So, I mean, you're going to have people go to this conference where you're trying to tell them to have fun. And it's supposed to be like this big party and rave and... I feel like most of them are going to be sizing each other up, trying to figure out if uh, if it's going to be them or you leaving in a few months, right? Or you're someone else getting fired. Because I'll, I'll tell you now, when I see this happen, specifically with these type of layoffs, store closings are next, and it's going to happen. I'm I'm almost positive GameStop's going to close a number of stores that they would have to announce. It's not going to be like ten. I think it's going to be in the hundreds and they're going to announce it and of course they could transfer people but most likely they won't they'll they'll just lay them off most likely uh now if there are some people there that they definitely want to keep maybe they'll talk to them and see if they want to transfer but i'm telling you now this is going to result in store closings soonish i i think after the holidays like so February or March is when we'll hear about some store closings. They'll probably get through the holidays, reap what they can from there, you know, get as much as they can, and then start looking around at where leases are coming up or or which ones they can get out of with like a year payment or something. Basically ways to start closing down stores and cutting costs further. GameStop is in trouble, right? I think we've all established that. And while this looks really, really bad, obviously it does, and store closings will, they have to cut their expenses down because they're just not making enough money to cover it. And I think they'll get to the next generation. I think they'll be around for the PS5 and the Xbox Scarlet, but will they make it through that generation? Because we, we've already heard Sony say that more than half of their game sales are now digital, right? Uh, EA said the same thing. And I don't think it's going to stop. I think it'll continue. I think games like Fortnite hurt them as well because it ha- has uh, kids and, and of course, pretty much just gamers in general now who play it spend less at GameStop and more just time just playing that and buying V-Bucks and stuff. And GameStop doesn't get much from buying V-Bucks in store. I'll tell you that now. So it's it's not a good environment for GameStop and they need to reinvent themselves quickly, which will probably turn into more layoffs and store closures uh, and until they eventually just completely go away like a blockbuster. But let me know what you guys think about this uh, down below. It looks like GameStop did a massive wave of layoffs from actual, like, management positions, not like people, you know, in the store, like I said, that are part-time, actual, like, full-time employees. Let me know what you guys think about this, and if this is something GameStop has to do, or if it's a bad move. Uh, let me know, guys, either way down below. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if not, and I'll see you guys next time.